All right, so we have our numerical vectors or matrices, whatever we'll be working with later on, but there are some simple operations we can do with them. And obviously the reason why we're using R is for the statistics and its a uh, way of calculating. So there are different uh, operators. Our, we have our basic ones, the plus, minus, multiplication, division, and the power. Uh, and then we also have all our usual functions like logarithm, exponent, sine, all the trigonometric, uh, square root, and so on that have these simple functions. But there, we also have statistical functions like minimum, maximum, the length, the sum, or even the product of everything in there. Uh, we can create new functions based on combining the other ones. Obviously, there already is a function called mean, which is doing that operation itself, um, and also the variance and standard deviations and so forth. So all these are there. Uh, even the sort functions are there that can be used for uh, numerical vectors. But the important thing to note about all these operations is that they are done at a vector by vector basis. What does that mean? That means that when you have it, uh, an expression where it says two times x, it means it will multiply every value in x two times, okay? And x can be a vector of as many numbers as you want, 10,000, 20,000, it doesn't matter. And then, you add the values in y. So y is another vector. So you can take that uh, calculation, add it to another matrix, and then when you do plus one, it will basically add one to every single value that's in that matrix or vector or whatever you have. So that's something that many uh, students uh, in the beginning don't uh, appreciate, is that you don't have to perform these functions or calculations one element at a time you can perform them on the entire vector at a time and the entire matrices at a time as well. Now, another very helpful feature about R is using factors. Now, the factors are an easy way to group together data points, okay? So, in this case, let's say you have a set of uh, data values and you're trying to group them based on uh, what different groups they're in. And you know the position of the values. So what this allows you to do is basically say, uh, here are my set of values, the first value and the third and the last two are all part of, four, five, six, seven, and eight, are all part of group A. So that means if you have all these eight values and you say, give me the average based on the groups, it will take the one, three, seven, and eight and give you an average for group A. It will do a gra average for group B, an average for group C, and so on. So we will see this in transcriptomics because we will be able to group together our points based on what samples are coming from. So let's say we have our experimental design where we have all our samples that are control samples, the other ones are treated, or let's say there are healthy patients and patients that have cancer, and we want to calculate the average intensity of a gene or the number of reads for, of a gene, then we can group them based on the factor, on their positions, and it will give us the average. Or it will look to perform the statistical test and we're telling it how to group them. So that's where it comes in really handy. So the easiest way to create these factors is to first create a character vector, just like I've done here, and then just use this factor command to convert this into a factor. And in the, again, in the live coding part, you will see what kind of uh, data structure it looks like.